So Tracy, why did you decide to invest in Pinot and Picasso? Well, it was a really easy decision, Caitlin. It was one that my husband Colin and I had been thinking about for a while. We'd definitely seen the blueprint that was created by, um, by James and Aaron. And it felt like something that could be done whilst managing our own full-time jobs. Yep. Um, we absolutely loved the experience that was created for people. Mm. And seeing the looks on people's faces during sessions and after the sessions was something that really came home to me. And right. it felt like something that we could recreate for others. Yeah, absolutely. For Luke and I, we were looking for something um, a bit different. We'd never owned a business before. Luke's always wanted to be a business owner and I've always wanted to have a, a sort of flexible business where I can work from home and have my own schedule. So yeah, it was a good opportunity. Uh, the franchise structure was something that we thought was definitely achievable for you know a young couple like us. So yeah, no regrets. It's been yeah great great experience so far. So Caitlin, what is it that opening Pinot and Picasso in Wollongong has done and allowed you and Luke to do that you couldn't do before? Yeah, so um, for me the biggest thing is that I, um, I used to work in real estate and I didn't really enjoy it very much. And so I was looking for sort of a new opportunity for me anyway in my career. And this has allowed me to sort of, you know, be able to manage the studio and run that. But I also do have other businesses that I run as well. So it doesn't sort of control my whole life, but it's definitely flexible and highly enjoyable. I mean, being in the studio, you know what it's like. It's a great atmosphere. So yeah, I love it. So Tracy, what has investing in Pinot and Picasso Camden allowed you and Colin to do? I think it's very similar to you, Caitlin. Um, when we opened Camden 12 months ago, we both had full-time jobs and the success of Camden and the not only the joy that it's brought, um, but also the financial benefits that it has brought has allowed us to not only purchase another studio, Balmain, it's actually allowed Colin to step away from his full-time job to focus on growing these two businesses even further. So Tracy, what appealed to you about a Pinot and Picasso franchise? Well, it's really, it's really interesting. I um, had a day off work and I went for a long drive up the mountains um, just to get a bit of time out and headspace. And as I was driving home, I realised that the nine to five grind um, wasn't what I wanted to be doing long term. And this franchise, I, I knew that it would give us long term freedom. So in saying that, Knowing that we're at a, obviously a very different stage in our lives to, to you and Luke, um, looking for a way to transition um, was really important and we knew, we just knew that this would be the right thing to do at the right time for this time in our lives. Because that's it, you know, we were there working through what our retirement plans were going to be and obviously there's still 10 years away. But if there's any way that you can bring that forward, do it well, um, but also something that you enjoy doing mm. was so important for us. I think a lot and of relate to that. Yeah, as well. and Colin's already started on the journey, and I'm actually really jealous. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I can't wait for the time where it's my turn to do yeah. that. And given the success of Camden and hopefully Balmain, it'll bring our plans a lot closer than they were. So maybe it's not a 10 year plan, maybe now it's just a five year plan. What has it meant for you and what have you had to learn in order to run this business successfully? Yeah, I mean like obviously people can try and give you um, advice or, or tell you what it's going to be like to run your own business, but every business is different as you would know. I can't, you know, compare it to anything else, but I mean, I've done it and I think I've done a pretty good job so far. So yeah, I mean, the fact that I can run this and now I'm running another business, it's very flexible, but I think I love the, the team. I love running the team. I love being in the studio. And as you mentioned before, the experience and the, the smile on people's faces when they leave, it's so rewarding and it's, it's quite hard to put into words, but it's, it's actually addictive, I think. It's, it's such a good environment to be in. And um, yeah, I guess for me, like running my own business, I have my own schedule. 
I don't think I could have imagined going back to a nine to five job, to be honest. Um, hopefully I don't have to, so <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, I've always worked in a role where I've led big teams or I've, um, you know, run large operations. So I was really lucky to be able to bring a bit of that to it. But having a small team and oversight of the end-to-end -end business for me has been absolutely amazing. And I've learnt, I actually thought, um, given particularly that I'm a little bit older than you, Caitlin, um, <laughs> that, that, <much>. yeah, <laughs> that I would struggle with um, reaching out to audiences. I thought I would struggle with the social media aspect yeah. of it as well. And for me, actually having to adapt to other ways of communicating with mm. people has been a huge learning for me. And every single day I learn something differently. So communicating differently, I think, is important. Running a small team where you actually get to show how you care for people mm. every single day is really important. Um, and having control over the end-to-end -end experience yeah. for me is really good. If you had to give one piece of advice to somebody that was even thinking about purchasing a Pinot and Picasso franchise, what would that be? Uh, do it. <laughs> Um, I think uh, we looked into, um, I guess, the structure of other franchises and this is, it's not daunting. It, it might seem like a big decision, but um, it, it really can't go wrong. I mean, every location that they've had so far has done so well. I think the concept of, you know, a paint and sip where you can catch up with your friends and family and relax and have a good time, um, who doesn't want to do that? So yeah, it's been very rewarding for us. I think it's been the most gratifying experience I've had in a long, long time. No regrets. I would consider myself a non-risk taker. Yeah, same. Um, so, and, but all my fears were allayed straight away. And I actually can't even think of one thing that hasn't gone well yep. in relation to the studio. I can't. So Caitlin, with Wollongong, what challenges were presented to you and how did you overcome those challenges? I think for us it was a little bit daunting in the beginning because being you know a young couple who have never run a business or managed a studio or anything like that before we were a little bit worried that we might <laughs> muck it up but thankfully with you know the franchise structure and how helpful head office has been and the support that they give you it was they guided us along the way and it was made it quite easy actually, <laughs> looking back now, so yeah. So Caitlin, what would be the top few favourite things for you in owning a Pinot and Picasso franchise? As you know, I, I, I manage the studio myself, so um, I was able to quit my nine to five job in real estate um, to be able to do this, but it's also quite flexible. So if I you know, wanna focus on my other business or um, I wanna go on holidays or, or whatever, um, I can. And so, um, yeah, it's definitely um, allowed me to have more me time and to create my own schedule and um, yeah, enjoy what I do, which I don't think a lot of people get to say that they enjoy what they do, so. And I know I don't know what I was doing before this, so um, yeah, I'm very lucky in that regard. I think seeing the returns really quickly, if I'm gonna speak honestly and yeah. commercially, um, seeing the returns come through um, significant enough to allow Colin um, to stop his nine yeah. to five job. And the fact that we, we are vi visibly bringing our plans in uh, sooner than we had planned previously. The sim I guess the simplicity of um, the, the business itself and the support that you get from head office yeah. for me um, made it happen. Mm, absolutely. Yeah.